Hey, what is going on guys? Inferno OH here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be going over all of my community polls that I've posted on my channel about Terraria, and just kind of see what the community has said about different weapons and different aspects about the game. Now these polls I've just kind of posted randomly, just whenever, and you may or may not have seen them, but if you don't know about these, you can go to my community section on my channel and you will see various different posts and polls. The first one is, which Terraria sword do you prefer, the True Knight's Edge or the True Excalibur? Now this is kind of ex how I expected it to go, most people prefer the True Knight's Edge, me included, but honestly both weapons, both weapons are good weapons, but I think the True Knight's Edge is just a little bit better, as well as the True Knight's Edge just looks better. I like the sprite a lot better. The Excalibur with the yellow and the blue, pink just doesn't look right to me, to be honest. Knight's Edge just looks way more clean. What is the most difficult Terraria mechanical boss? Now, most people here said Skeletron Prime. If you selected the Destroyer, uh, one, you've either never fought the other bosses or you're lying, because <laughs> he's way... He's definitely the easiest. Now, Skeletron Prime and Twins, kind of thought that would be a bit closer in difficulty for what people choose, but, I mean, Skeletron Prime, yeah, he's pretty difficult. I don't know what I would choose, though. I, I'm kind of stuck between the Twins and Skeletron Prime on difficulty. Maybe Skeletron Prime, just because of all the different weapons and stuff he has, but I don't know. Which Terraria boss is more difficult, the Moon Lord or Mechdusa? Seems like most people choose Moon Lord by quite a bit, actually. But if you don't know, Mechdusa is a secret boss and one of the secret seeds. Uh, it's just a combination of all the mechanical bosses combined. Um, I kind of think, yeah, it makes sense for Moon Lord to be more difficult. But fighting all the mechanical bosses at the same time is kind of challenging, actually. So I feel I thought this would be more closer pull, but yeah, Moon Lord makes sense to be more difficult. Now here's another one with Mechdusa. Which Terraria boss is more difficult, the Empress of Light or Mechdusa? Most people chose Mechdusa over Empress of Light. And after fighting Mechdusa, I would definitely have to agree with the majority of people here, because Mechdusa is a pretty difficult boss. Now if you were fighting Empress of Light during daytime, then that's a different story. But just the base boss fight, Mechdusa is much more difficult because so many different enemies or bosses, whereas Empress of Light is just one thing you have to attack. Which Terraria Nebula weapon do you prefer to use? Nebula Blaze or Nebula Arcanum? Wow, that is a very large difference, didn't think it would be that big. But 84% on the Nebula Blaze, which is also the part that I'm with. I Whenever I go Mage, which I'm normally melee, but whenever I do decide to do Mage, I'm always Nebula Blaze, I never, I rarely ever use the Nebula Arcanum. I don't really know why, maybe just because the Nebula Blaze is that much better of a weapon, but maybe I should try using that thing a bit more, I never really use it. I think the reason no one chooses the Nebula Arcanum is because it just shoots way much slower, Nebula Blaze is so much faster, I think that's really the main reason. Which Terraria Vortex weapon do you prefer to use, Vortex Beater or the Phantasm? Hmm, honestly, I really like both of these weapons. I really like the Phantasm and I like the Vortex Beater. They're both kind of a bit different in their own ways. Uh, if you're going with guns, yeah, definitely Vortex Beater, Bow, Phantasm. They both have really great perks, but it's kind of a hard choice for me, to be honest. Whenever I do do ranged, I kind of swap between both of these. I don't really prefer one over the other. Kind of, sometimes I decide to use the Phantasm, sometimes I use the Vortex Beater. Unfortunately, there's no bow after this one, like, after this gun, you get the SDMG, after the, after this bow, there's nothing, so you're just gonna be stuck with the SDMG afterwards anyways. Which Terraria Moon Lord sprite do you like better, Chinese version or the normal version? The Chinese version actually looks pretty cool. Honestly, I might go with the Chinese one here just because of how different it is. I like the crystals, diamonds, whatever that blue stuff is supposed to be, replacement of his bones. But it looks really nice, actually. I quite like this design. Do you prefer the Pumpkin Moon or the Frost Moon in Terraria? Wow. I, that's kind of a surprising result, honestly. Not very many people choose the Frost Moon. I think the Frost Moon is actually 
I would have expected it to be a, a lot higher because it actually has some pretty good weapons like the, the Blizzard Staff, it has the Razor Pine, has the Chain Gun. Those are all really great weapons, whereas Pumpkin Moon doesn't really have that much great stuff, honestly. I mean, it has the Horseman's Blade, which you need for the Zenith, but I'm kind of surprised the Frost Moon is that low. Have you ever used mine or someone else's Terraria All Items World before finishing the game, Pre-Moon Lord? Huh. It's pretty evenly spread out here, actually. I mean, I guess this poll compared to the other ones don't have as many votes. Quick plug, though. If you want to download my All Items World, we'll have that in the description of this video. But me, personally, I never used an All Items World before beating the game because... When I played the game, you couldn't really even use All Items World. They didn't really exist. But I do use them now just because they're super helpful for me after I've beaten the game many, many times. But these results don't surprise me. I do kind of expect most people to just use All Items World before beating the game, even if it's just to grab a couple items. Makes sense. What do you think the most useful slash best NPC in Terraria is? And very large amount of people say the Goblin Tinkerer. Kind of makes sense. He's the one that changes how much damage your weapons do. But what I should have added on here, an NPC that I didn't add for some reason, I should have added the, the Painter. Because he's a very big part. He's a very well used NPC because of his paints. But Goblin Tinkerer doesn't really surprise me honestly. What is your favorite Terraria update? And most people like 1.4 update, actually. Not surprising, because that's when the game's kind of bringing in most of the players, brand new players. Very large content updates that added a lot of stuff. But me, personally, I liked 1.2.4 the most. Just because that's when I played the game the most, I think. Uh, especially the mobile version. I played the game so much during that update. Man, it's just my favorite. Is ketchup a smoothie? Honestly... Yeah, yeah, it is a smoothie. What is the most annoying enemy in Terraria? Crawltipede, definitely the most chosen enemy in here. I would also 100% agree with that because those things are so strong. They do so much damage to you and they're kind of hard to hit, especially if you don't have a weapon that's like ranged or has lock on abilities because you can only hit their tail. Out of their whole body, you can only hit their tail. It's just kind of... They're, yeah, they're just annoying. Which Terraria sword do you like better? The Zenith or the First Fractal? Most people choose the Zenith. And I would honestly agree with that. While the First Fractal is pretty cool, it's unique, I like the Zenith way better, the design, and just the animation of it. I just like it better, to be honest. Which type of Terraria alternative ore do you like better? Most people chose Iron, which I also prefer Iron over Lead. Now there's really no difference, it's just aesthetic, but I like iron better. What do you think is the most iconic weapon in Terraria? And most people chose the Terror Blade, which I would also say the Terror Blade. This is kind of what I was thinking when I think of Terraria. It's the first weapon that comes to mind for me, but I'm kind of surprised the Copper Short Sword isn't a little bit higher than that, to be honest. And the Zenith, that one would make sense because it's the final weapon, but I guess that was added later on. Terrorblade just makes sense to be the most iconic because it's been in the game for a very long time. What is your favorite class? Most people choose melee, which again, I'm also a part of melee. For some reason, hmm, seems like my most of my uh, choosings or opinions are also going along with the majority of people's votes, but I am almost always melee. Sometimes I'll swap to a different class, but always melee in pretty much any game. What is the best evil biome in Terraria? Crimson. I'm, yeah, definitely Crimson for me. Although the Worm Scarf, if you're playing expert mode, Worm Scarf from Corruption, definitely a great thing. Sometimes I'll actually swap to a Corruption world just to get that accessory because it's really great. But I don't know. I just like the Crimson better. I don't know why. I think maybe that has to do with it being the first world I've made, Crimson was in it, but I just like it better. What is your favorite Terraria update exclusive boss? And Akram, not surprisingly, is the most chosen one, which I would also go along with too, just because at the point when he was in the game, he was technically the final boss, 
Although he wasn't too unique because some of his abilities in AI was kind of yoinked from some of the other bosses. But Turkor and Lepus, they just seem, they just kind of seemed a bit off. Like, I know Akram didn't fit the game that much, but he definitely fit a lot more than Turkor and Lepus did, to be honest. And especially, Turkor and Lepus, you can only fight them during certain holidays. Thanksgiving and Easter. Akram, you could fight him at any time. How long have you been playing Terraria for? Very few people have been playing since the game came out, but I started playing the game maybe, oh man, it's been a long time, maybe seven years ago? I played it, I started playing a long time ago, but I really can't remember, but it seems like half the people had played starting just about a year ago, so that's kind of surprising, guess we got a lot of new players. Which Terraria boss fight do you think is more difficult? Yeah, that, this kind of makes sense, Empress of Light, Daytime. Just because you get hit once, boom, you're dead. Whereas Moonlord, you don't, you can actually take hits. Do you play Minecraft along with Terraria? Wow, actually most people play both games. Which I guess kind of makes sense, they are kind of similar in some ways, but... No, please don't call Terraria 2D Minecraft. If you call Terraria 2D Minecraft one more time, I'm going to start calling Minecraft 3D Terraria. But anyways, that is going to do it for my community polls on my channel so far. I will continue to post more of these just randomly, so if you want to uh, be involved with these polls, just go ahead and vote on them whenever I post a new one. But if you are not already, and if you enjoyed the video, could you please like and subscribe to my channel? There's over 90% of people who do watch my videos are not subscribed, so I would really appreciate it. We'll also leave the link to my Discord server in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and join that. But anyways, that is going to do it, and goodbye.